number one zam Hey guys, Moisey you. welcome back to my channel. I just want to wish all you guys a happy new year. I wish you a better and much healthier and more successful 2021 because we all know 2020 was a bit... I just hope that you guys have a better new year and that you um, keep going and keep striving for better. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Maggie and I talk all things to do with career, to do with fashion sewing, and to do with money and to also do with lifestyle at some point in this video i'm just going to do a little roundup of the plans i have for 2021 basically just set some goals set some challenges for myself and see where i am and see where i want to be if you like the sound of that make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel somewhere here enjoy the ride with me join me on my journey let's get right into it so what i wanted to do in this video is basically just give you an update of few things that I was doing last year obviously if you've seen my saving for a house video or a couple of other videos I did last year I have mentioned that I've been doing a £1,000 challenge and guess what guys I am on track obviously I'm filming this early January so if I started in August and I was gonna do a six month update, I would have saved £6,000 by hopefully the end of January. But as it stands, I'm actually only a few hundred pounds away from £6,000, which I'm really, really happy about. Like a lot of work goes into that, guys. I've stuck with it. I've got six more months to try and hit my target of £12,000 or more. And I do believe that I, I'm going to do it and I do believe that I will do it. It's just going to take a lot of work, especially with this month in January, I am changing jobs again. So for about the last three months, I've been a bank BMS, but I'm going back to being a locum this month. So that might change how much income I've got or I will get. And I'm also planning to take a week off before my next role. So that might make it a little bit more difficult to try and save £1,000 this month, but we'll see what happens. I'm just glad that I am actually on target. If anything, I've saved more than I should have at this point. So I'm really, really happy with that. So what else? was I trying to do so yeah obviously I started locum I've been doing that for I started locum in August I've been doing that for nearly six months now and yeah it's had its challenges it's had its ups and downs but on the whole it's been great I don't know where this year is going to take me in terms of my job but I'll have to wait and see and see what happens with that it is it's exciting but it's also a bit daunting because I really don't know where I'm going to end up and right now we're in tier four um as a key worker obviously it doesn't really affect me too much in terms of getting to work and getting back like I don't really know where I'm going to end up so we'll have to wait and see and I'll keep you guys updated on that journey being a locum is it's a ride it's a wavy ride but it's something that I chose to do and really glad I did it. I think it's something that I'm going to look back on and be so proud of in the future because I feel like it's going to take me to really and truly where I want to be. Let's just move straight on to plans because I feel like in 2020, personally, I I grew as a person. I know for a fact that I care less what people think to what I used to actually really care about. Um, I think I've grown in that sense because I know that people always have opinions, but it's really up to you what you do and how, how you react to people's opinions, people's ideas of you or ideas of what you're doing. But I care less because I know where I'm trying to go in life and I know what I need to do to get there and caring what somebody else thinks or what you know they say about you is really not your problem if you're investing time and energy into worrying about what they think you won't be focusing on what you need to do so 2020 is when i really and truly just decided okay doesn't matter what people think you gotta do what you gotta do try out what you have to try out go where you need to go cut out the people that you need to cut out not everybody deserves your energy i say this so much not everything and not everyone deserves your energy you choose where your energy goes and that's really really important honestly it takes you very far because I may as well be like some sort of zen philosopher because at this point in time you could say something to me about like, okay cool and then just keep it moving what are my financial plans for this year as we all know i love talking about money and i think it is important that we do talk about m money especially with people that we um potentially are in a relationship with your partners etc etc but also just knowing it for yourself learning about money learning about investing learning the things that we weren't ever taught in school because i believe that if i'd known a lot more about finances at a younger age i would be successful right now point blank i wouldn't have struggled through the years that I have struggled, uh, my family has struggled, I think better decisions would have been made, but that is what it is. We learn and we move on from that. So 
my financial goals for this month is to carry on saving my £1,000 a month that is going on until August but obviously it's January I'm going to keep going until the end of December so including me saving £6,000 from now up to August I'm going to try and save basically £12,000 um, obviously like I said January is going to be a little bit difficult because I am changing jobs and I'm taking a week off so I might not necessarily be able to achieve that but I'm going to do my best because there'll be times where I can work maybe a little bit more to make that up so that's what I'm going to try and do that £12,000 was mainly to go towards a house deposit which is something that I see myself doing in the next year or two is buying a house that's going to carry on I don't know when I'm going to be like okay right I've got the money I'm ready to buy a house that could be just a little bit after August it could be the end of this year or it could be next year but basically as long as I have my £12,000 by August I'll be happy that I've achieved that if you know I talk a lot about well I have started talking a lot more about investing on my Instagram channel follow me if you want to follow my little quotes that I do every Wednesday I've started investing I will do a video on my beginners um, investment portfolio which hopefully will be my next video I want to put more into my investments so at the moment as I'm still learning still understanding everything and deciding what I want to invest in I want to start by putting away a hundred pounds a month into my investments I'll do a little video about that later but obviously hundred pound isn't a lot but it's just something to start with while I learn and while I decide what I want to invest in I think I'm gonna start this in February just because like I said I'm trying to make a plan for everything in January right now it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me I don't know what income I'm gonna have hopefully by December I will have invested 1100 pounds into my investments into my portfolio and that hopefully would have grown a little bit by that point I will track it and I'll show you guys how that's doing um, I also want to achieve a passive income of £500. If you've seen my previous video, I did um, my passive income report of how I've done from, was it August to December? How I've done from then. And it was just over £200. And that's including bank interest. That's including my side hustle. And that's also including sort of like affiliate links and sort of referrals that people, um, if they choose to use my codes, they do that. Yeah, little things like that will help me reach my £500 passive income. So if I can beat the £200 that I did in the last quarter of last year, hopefully £500 isn't too much of a reach for this year. So if I surpass that, that would be great. But if I can reach £500, I'll be really, really happy because like you still have to put into a little bit of work into passive income. So hopefully that's something that I can do. Now moving on to some personal goals of mine. Um, I feel like this video is going to be short in terms of how much I'm going to say in it because I still haven't done, I'm working on this year ahead um book to help me set some challenges set some goals and see how i compare from last year but i have set a few personal goals which is reading a little bit more this year especially books about self-development books about finances because i want to learn more about finances and do better so that's what i'm hoping to do this year i'm going to carry on caring less what people think i'm going to carry on trying to grow my edges which are doing a lot better than when i first made my video actually i said i'm going to try and grow my edges they're growing they're doing better but Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna try and focus just doing better personally. Another personal thing I want to work on is, okay, this is probably a little bit more financial than it is personal, but my mum has a plot um, back in Zambia and that is something that I want to sort of work towards building a house on that. But this is not a short term thing. I feel like that's something that's gonna come a little bit later because obviously I'm still saving for my own house here. I'm gonna try and work on um, starting up the process of building the plot for my mum in Zambia. Obviously that is still a little bit up and down right now because I know that there's certain things going on in Zambia in terms of politically. So I don't know when we'll be able to deal with that. And when the time comes, I'll be working on that and I'll keep you guys updated on that. But that's something that's something that I really, really want to do because I feel like it's important. It's an investment for me, but it's also something that I need for my mum so that she's got somewhere to stay, to be in Zambia as she's getting older. <laughs> But yeah, that's something that I'm willing to work on. Then in terms of business, I um, have a few ideas of what I want to achieve on the business side of things. So I want to work on side hustles. So as you know, some of you may know, actually, I do have an Etsy shop where I sell um, clothing that I make. I want to add more stuff to that this year. And I am working on a couple of things. Hopefully there'll be more and more stuff as the year goes on. So that is something that I want to build to good, um, sufficient and 
really successful business level so if you want to support that i'll put a link down below and you can check out what i have at the moment there isn't a lot i'm working to add a bit more to that that might actually be my other source of income but if i can also find another source of income um that's something that i'm trying to work towards i might add more sort of digital things to my etsy that i'm working on I'm also working on a budgeting spreadsheet which might not necessarily be out this year it could be out next year so i'm working on that to see how that's going to go for somebody like me i'm going to be trialing it and see how it goes and also when it comes to my youtube channel i i'm enjoying this obviously the last few weeks the last couple of weeks over the festive period I'm not gonna lie i've i haven't had any motivation to do anything i've taken a bit of time off and that's fine because i feel like sometimes you do need to rest you do need to recharge and you need to refocus on exactly what you're working on so i wasn't really motivated to film anything in the last sort of few days to a couple of weeks and i've taken the break that i've needed and now i'm back hopefully back better than ever i feel a lot more motivated now the new year has started you know start again we go again this year my challenge slash goal for this year is to hit a thousand subscribers and to hopefully work on getting my channel monetized hopefully you guys are enjoying the content and will enjoy the content that i have for the next year that's what i've got right now as we go into the third day of the year hopefully encourage other people to start talking more about money to start investing to look at their future and decide what they want to do and make changes and make decisions to head towards that like i want financial independence eventually where listen if i want to go on holiday next week and i can i will just go and i don't need to ask anyone like, that's the kind of life that i want i want to be able to help people when i can and obviously when they need it sort of thing i want to be going into somewhere every day or even working from home if i've got my own successful business but doing something that i enjoy but not going to work to be stressed out I don't need that life's already stressful so that is what i'm working on so i hope this can come into fruition fruition this year and yeah we'll keep on going we'll keep it moving and we'll keep on hustling and hopefully everything will work out as it needs to be this year and i don't doubt that there will be challenges i like a challenge that's the thing about me if anything i like to set more challenges than i do goals so if you guys are ready for that you're ready to see that and you're ready to do it yourself join me make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah let's do this together let's see what we can do this year this year doesn't have to be the same as 2020 was i hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll catch up with you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching